Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on how to boost your FPS on Evil Dead the game. The game is not well optimized and I will show you a couple of weird stuff when you compare the game with the config file. But we're going to start with Windows, make sure that Windows is set up properly. So make sure that your game mode, right game mode here, game mode is at on on Windows 10. Um, also your Xbox game bar, I still recommend to disable it, it's causing issues, stuttering, mini lag, you will lose also FPS. And for the capture, make sure that your capture background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, uh, search for graphic setting in your search bar. You will have something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You will need uh, an NVIDIA card 1000 series or more recent to have that. Make sure that you check it and you restart your computer uh, to, to apply it. Um, it will really help with bottleneck. Um, 2 to 4 percent boost in your FPS on card like 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060 or the 2060. So definitely a nice nice um, option to have for this game. Another thing that I recommend, make sure that you have your latest driver for AMD, NVIDIA or even uh, Intel. AMD also, I, I recommend to download the latest version, the preview from Mate, the 22.10. It helps a lot with the DirectX 11 game. I have a couple of games like Lost Ark and Unshowdown that I'm getting a lot more FPS. So really interesting to use that. Another thing that I recommend on NVIDIA or AMD card, on N AMD it's called Super Resolution and on NVIDIA it's NIS in NVIDIA Image Scaling. I have like a dedicated video to show you like how to do it, but it's more if you're struggling with your FPS. For an example, uh, you're playing a game in 2K, you downscale the resolution in the game at 1080p and uh, the Super Resolution will scale up back to 2K and you will gain a nice like 15 to 25 percent boost in your fps with some um you will lose a little bit of quality in your image but honestly it's not that bad i did a couple of video for that but it's more like last resort after that you did the whole thing the old like you change your settings and stuff like that if you still don't get the amount of fps that you want definitely you should try the super resolution Another thing that I recommend is your energy power plan. Go to your power option. Make sure that you run something like balance or high performance. On a desktop computer, normally it's not an issue. It will be default high balance. But on some laptop, it's a bit tricky. Sometimes you plug your laptop in the wall, you unplug it, you're running in the battery. And sometimes it stays like a power saver or a different profile from your um, manufacturer of your uh, uh, laptop. For example, Dell, Asus, and stuff like that. So really make sure that you use something like our performance or balance when you're playing the game and you plug in the wall. Another thing that I can recommend is the Intelligence Standby List Cleaner. I will put the, the link on my video description. It helps a lot to free your memory and your standby list on Windows. It's more for people who have like a 4 gig of RAM or 8 gig of RAM and you're struggling with your RAM. So you just look at your total system memory here. You divide by two. So in my case, what's 16,000. But normally you will see like 8,000 if you have 8 gig of RAM and you just put 4,000 here. You press start and it will automatically free your memory and make sure that your standby list is always good. And you just like put this like this and you just run your game. And it's honestly, it's really good. Uh, I'm running it on my laptop and it's a lot better when I do video games. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we will go for settings, video. So the first one that you need to make sure that you're using is the full screen option. All the other options causing stuttering and other issue. So I really recommend to go with full screen. For resolution scale, I recommend to go with extreme. This is very weird. Normally you see a percentage here and you always want to use the 100%. And last resort, you want to lower a little bit if you want. But in that case, even at extreme, you're running your resol resolution scale at 95. So I'm going to show you after um, the uh, in-game settings in the uh, config file how to change that to 100. But this is very weird the way they did it. If you're using Epic, you will be at 85 and your image quality decrease a lot. For view distance, uh, it's kind of important view distance in this game. For sure, if you're playing on a laptop with an integ integrated video card, you will probably need to run it at medium. But my recommendation is high because I didn't see a huge difference in my FPS, high versus uh, medium. But if you're going uh, at epic, you're straight up losing 10% of your FPS. So I recommend to go with high. Post processing, honestly, in this game, I just recommend to, even if you have a very good computer, go with low. 
they just add some random motion blur when you put it at medium or even higher. You don't have a motion blur option. So just go with low if you want image clarity. Uh, that's a bit weird the way they did it. So that's why I'm recommending low. For shadow, I recommend medium. This is the minimum that you can use. If I compare medium to uh, epic to medium, you can get a nice 20% boost in your FPS. I did try in the config file to put the number zero because medium equal one in the config file and it didn't change anything. So this is pretty much the uh, minimum that you can get with shadow. For texture at six gig of VRAM and more, you can definitely go with epic. I at four gig. Uh, 3 gig at medium and less than 3 gig go with low after that the effect this one uh, is taking a lot of resources if i compare epic to low when i'm playing the game i honestly have like 35 percent boost in my fps so this one is huge this is like kind of a proof that it's not well optimized you, you can have like a big difference like that with effect so definitely run this one at low for shading, I did a couple of tests. Honestly, I didn't see a huge difference low versus high in my FPS. So that's why I recommend high. Uh, you're going to lose 3 to 4% uh, in your FPS at Epic. So high seems to be a good spot right now for this game. For V-Sync, I recommend to uncheck it if you have Free Sync or G-Sync. Uh, if you don't have those technology and you have a lot of tiering, definitely check it. Uh, it will add more input lag in your game, but it's not like you, you're not playing Valorant right now or CSGO, so it's not a huge thing. The last option is the uh, Tessellation. Tessellation, you just check it. If you have like an old uh, AMD card, like an R9 280X or something like that, definitely uncheck this because the old R AMD card had a lot of issue with uh, Tessellation. But honestly, if you have something recent for the past like four or five years, you can definitely check this one and it doesn't change even your FPS. So this is pretty much it for the uh, setting inside of the game. Now we're going to go to uh, the config file. So for the config file, you need to go in your C drive, user, the name of your computer, app data, local, evil dead, save, config, and Windows no editor. You will need to open the game user setting. So first of all, the first thing that you need to look at is your uh, resolution here. Uh, make sure that you're running the proper resolution. Uh, if you want to downscale it, this is pretty much where you're going to do it. Um, so because you don't have right now the option inside of the game. Also, make sure that the, the HDR display output is at false if you don't have an HDR um, screen. After that, this is the place that you need to change resolution quality. When you put it at extreme, you will see that here you have a 95 number. So I recommend to put this number at 100 and this will help you a lot. When you did that, you save. And after that, you will need to block your file. Go to properties and make sure that the file is in read only. You want to do that because uh, each time that you will load your game, uh, it will just automatically uh, reset this parameter. So you really want to lock it at 100 and put the read only to make sure that your file will not get overridden. After a couple of patch, maybe you should like uncheck it because uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna change the settings. Uh, it's too simple, it's missing too much stuff for a PC game. Uh, so for, for sure they're gonna update it. So make sure that your file is unchecked when you do an update uh, to, to have like the latest version. But anyway, even if you do your update and you uncheck it later, everything will be uh, updated automatically. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Evil Dead guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.